Another day starts on the homestead. Let's go get all the animals out. First stop is the guineas and the quail. One thing I've noticed is that the guineas are never as motivated to come out as like chickens are. I opened the door and the chickens would just come running out, but the guineas, they kind of take their time. Yesterday I gave the quail a piece of tomato to see if they'd like that. And it looks like it was a big failure. I don't think they even pecked at it. But I know that they like cucumbers. So today I'm going to give them another cucumber. I wonder why they didn't like the tomato. Here you go guys. They definitely like the seeds on the cucumbers. Next stop is our laying chickens. Up as the duck. First, I need to get them some food. The ducks only get one little bowl of food like this a day. The rest, they're on their own. And as you can see, most days they don't even eat that. This is still left from yesterday. They just like to eat bugs. Morning, duck. This is the reason that they're not eating their food lately. I've started a new rabbit manure pile over here where we're building the new garden. And there's so many bugs in it that when I let the ducks out in the morning, they skip right past their food, they come right over here, and they're just eating all the bugs out of the manure pile. Crazy ducks. Now they're running back to their food because I'm standing next to this food. Two duck eggs this morning. Out of three ducks, we normally get two eggs a day. So if you guys have been watching us for any amount of time, you know that we don't buy any of our meat in a grocery store. Uh, we raise or hunt all of the meat that we eat here on the homestead. So today, uh, I was uh, realizing that it is August 1st, and that means that we're only six weeks away from the beginning of archery deer season. Um, and that's good because just recently, uh, we ran out of ground venison in the freezer. We still have a little bit of backstrap and we still have a little bit of canned venison, but we're getting pretty low on all of the venison that we have. Um, and since venison is the only red meat that we get on the homestead uh, because we don't have room to raise cows, it's a very important meat source for us. Last year I was lucky enough to be able to get five deer right here on our property. This year I'm hoping that we can get even more than that uh, for two reasons. One, because uh, not only can I get the five deer that I can get with my landowner permits, uh, but after those five are full, I can also purchase additional tags. Uh, the other thing is I'm trying to talk Sarah into hunting this year. Uh, she's not opposed to it, she's just never done it and she's a little shy about doing it, but I think getting her out with a crossbow 
will be a lot less intimidating than getting her out with a deer rifle. That's even more tags that we can fill. So today I'm going to go check on my tree stand and my ground blind, uh, the two main places that I hunt here on the property. So I thought I'd bring you along while we go check those and make sure everything is in working order. So the first stop is going to be my tree stand. It's a 15 foot uh, ladder stand. Looks like everything is still in good shape from last year. I'm going to climb up and show you the view from up there. All right, we made it up into the stand. Uh, wait till I turn this camera around and show you the view. It's amazing. This is a great place uh, to just come and relax, if nothing else. It's so peaceful out here. And, well, you'll see for yourself in a minute. Well, this is the view looking down. This is what I look at while I'm hunting. Now, during deer season, I try to come out at least a few hours a day either in the morning or afternoon or both, just depends how much else we have going on. But again, it's a big priority for us on the homestead because of needing that meat. So there are some things that get put on hold so that hunting can take a priority. It's just the lifestyle we live. All right, well, it's starting to rain. So let's head back to my ground blind because at least if it rains back there, we're out of the rain. All right, so there's my ground blind. It's just a pop-up uh, ground blind, but to be honest, I've had it in the same spot now. This is the third hunting season. I've never taken it down, never moved it. I just leave it out here year round. And to be honest, it's holding up really well. And someday when it wears out, I'll just buy another one. But for the price, you just can't beat it. And by leaving it out here all year, the deer are used to it. None of the animals out around here seem to make any big deal about it. First we need to look inside and make sure no, uh, no rattlesnakes, copperheads, anything like that have made a home inside or skunks or anything else. Let's... Alright, let's head inside. This is what it looks like from the inside. This is kind of how my view is looking out. Right straight out there, I got an eight point buck. That was my biggest deer so far, so that was pretty awesome. All right, let's head back to the house. I told Samantha that we'd go pick some okra uh, so we can make some deep fried okra to go with our dinner tonight. So uh, let's get back and head to the garden. So this year we're growing two types of okra. We're growing the Clemson Spineless and we're growing the Orange Jang. Uh, what I like about these Clemson Spineless is that, I mean look how big this okra is and it's still, it's still good to eat. It hasn't gotten woody. I really like that. So you don't need to pick as many to have a meal. I'd say there's no better way to finish off a night on the homestead than some deep fried zucchini and deep fried okra straight from the garden. Yum! 
So you guys, if this is your first time visiting our homestead, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little insight into how we live, how uh, important hunting is for us, and how it really is a blessing to be able to get some deer every year. So if you enjoyed this video, this is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button below. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who comes back every day, we sure do appreciate you. Don't forget to share this video on all your social media with everybody that you think would enjoy it. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.